Oh God, don't tell me that's what I thought it was just now. Welcome back to the 628 Dirt Rooster channel where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. And we are starting on a removal that looks like, I'm gonna give it 14 foot up, what do you think? Big old huge house. Beautiful. Uh, very unique design. Right here it looks like we've got a cinder block wall separating what is the workshop for the property from the living space and the garage. We may have a heat signature in the wall of the garage, which is looks like is where this beam comes in. And I can't tell if that's center block all the way up. Level of land is where the level of the garage was. We were, yeah. I would say look at the land, yeah. Somewhere right around here is where we were standing. Randy, I think that was behind the cinder blocks is like a void space they filled in with dirt. Okay. Then they put the garage on top of it. All right, well, we may have to take some of this wall board off. Yeah, it's fine. Go and take it out. This hive has been in here for, or there's been a hive in here for 10 years? For this at, at least a month, not longer. All right. They've been here since 85, and they came moved in pretty quick. And last year, it looks like they had a swarm swarm inside down here. So they've actually chewed through the sheetrock? About 8 or 10, about 8 or 10 uh, years ago, they had somebody come, supposed to kill them, but I think he... He put the wrong stuff in there because they look like they ever would have anywhere. You want know I me? Mean? They came back. <laughs> they they so hard. Let's go over here and look at the pile of bees in the window. Yeah, it's a big pile. This is this is just a older couple. That's he's not the owner there. Older couple. They probably just don't get down here anymore. This happened last year. An entire swarm came inside died in the window and there's still a smell from that right there man it's been a year ago look when i tell people they're gonna leave a, a rancid odor in their wall if they kill a hive in a wall this is just a swarm this is not even the remains of a hive but one year in here and this still stinks really bad what you do where's your new cord okay <laughs> is that what you've been looking for uh -huh. i've been set up a week out there in the sun in a plastic bag, then you gag them, uh, <laughs> give them to your neighbor. Pencil for the day. Oh, you couldn't find a real pencil? No, That's they right. change every time I get, put them in the truck and then you go to work a few times without me, I come back, I can't find a pencil. <laughs> I don't know what's happening to the pencils. Yeah. You know what else we gotta have is water and yep, bucket of water. garbage bags. Well, I got you set up. <laughs> you getting your fix? Yeah. Dosed it, and I'm about to go. Dosed it, and then we're going to get. <coughs> we're going to lay out a whole scaffold platform. Got a good, nice, big working area. We're going to start cutting the ceiling, and then after that, we'll work into the wall. I'm almost certain they're going to go into that wall. So we're either going to have to take them. I don't know if we're going to get them from this side. I'm fixing to hit that with the flare again, maybe. But if not, that's the back wall of the garage and there's definitely heat over there and there's no doubt we can get the rest of it through the garage. What do you think, man? I set up easy access. I see that. <laughs> of course. After you, you can't come up this side. <laughs> yeah, I can come up. I crawl over from the other side. Let's see what the height is once we get up there. You just tell me what you need when you get up there. A broom. A broom? Yeah, it's spider webs all the way up to it. <laughs> you got black dots and that spider web right here? You got a broom? Then you need a broom. Uh, and you need I don't a broom. have Just one. Just knock some webs down. That's all bees. Oh, no. Inside that spider web is a big fat spider. Oh, shoot, man. Ain't nothing wrong with a spider getting a little meal. You ain't working up here. Oh. <laughs> I gotta tilt my head. I can, but I have to bring a platform up and sit uh, on it. You can work here once I open it. Actually, it wouldn't be bad to have one up here to have a little workstation. All right, I'll get you one. They've been trying to get somebody for years to get these bees out here, and then they can, we couldn't find nobody. It's they a, did. it's not a job everybody wants to do. I think it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's always a challenge. But it's work. This one's different than any other one we've attacked coming up here like this. But it's work. <laughs> hey, but I ain't afraid of work. Coming up here and being a cameraman. But uh, yeah, you're gonna love this. Shit. 
All right, let's see what I got. I don't see nothing. Well, I do. I'm trying to get the camera to get him. There it is. Oh, I see him now. I want that big camera. <laughs> you will see you show pull. it to him right now. You pull that thing down. You see him on TV. They got all that thing. My brother said that time he did. He put him on them suits on the thing. He said for girls. Them dang gum things, they were all over. Yeah. Now, I can't tell if I'm smelling formula yeah. or, or honey. <laughs> Kind of smells like that house in uh, that we had the, the weeding walls. Oh, really? Well, it's it's had a die out before, no doubt. All right, That's I'm leaving that little bit of section because when I go through, it's kind of rotten. Yeah. And I don't want to poke them right there, so that'll just break off. I hope. That's fine. Tell me what tools you want. We ain't saving it, so if you gotta bust it to get a grip. Right, it's, uh, I'm Oh God, don't tell me that's what I thought it was just now. Oh, big hive and an old hive. Oh, mercy. <laughs> that's why we wouldn't get no heat signature, they're too high up. Yeah, that's a big one. Well, the old one's right there. This place here. Dry old comb. Matter of fact, that's the uh, where uh, wax moth it notched on the wood. Ate that old hive. Mm -hmm. left, left the wax hanging, but you can see the notches. Now, this is, I'm fixing to pull this back and give you a good one. That ain't so. That was a huge hive in there. Oh, man. Coming. Ends right there, the old. Is that, are you seeing the Wath back? marks. Are you seeing the back of the garage wall right there? That's wooden. That's wood. Okay. Which is probably where that shelf is, but. Uh, a little bit, but up because I'm so up close, I got to get a better. Are them old combs empty? There's nasty comb all around it, and good stuff in the middle here. Damn the bees! All right, you see what we got going here? This is not a candlelight vigil. Uh, we shut all these lights down through the shop so that the bees aren't drawn into the shop out of this hole, and the ones that are go out the door. And they're being surprisingly calm at the moment we we drove through rain about halfway up here you just ran all the roaches out of, out of the thing yeah all over the place they coming out yeah uh, one of them's on your hat <laughs> not now i would be extremely extremely careful with it it wants to crush oh yeah <laughs> you got no weight there <laughs> nah old dry comb so the uh Holes all in it, wax moth ate it all up. Yeah, the wax moth ate it all. Wax moth ain't the only thing that's been up here. Yeah, what's that? There's big chew marks of sections about that big. Squirrel. Like that. Well, we'll call it squirrel, but that's not what I'm thinking. <laughs> We're gonna call it a squirrel for your sake. Yep, I would say that. You know. Just you only got one plank behind you, keep that in mind. Out there, I can't, there's no reason to go any further back. Good. Yeah, there's large chunks of this has been eaten. I can't stand up up here anyway. I told you. If I wasn't underneath here, my head's angled. I thought, I thought they lived there in the wintertime on that honey they had. They do? You want more light up there, I'll go get a flashlight. Nah, too much light. There's a, That's what I'm working with, I got a flashlight. Too much light's not good. No, I don't want them being attracted to it. <laughs> You said it wasn't falling, but it peaked your ass. Yeah, so they won't stay in. I'm going to get it. I'm probably going to get about 10. At that old dry comb? They're working that comb. Are they? Yeah. 
They got anything in it? That's what I'm trying to check now. That's, that's how hard it is. I've really got to, I got to saw through it to get it. I mean, it really is tough. This piece and maybe another trash piece before I'm actually into the hive. And they aren't getting me, but I stopped making noise. Every time I was like, want to get me? He's like, okay, I've had one. So now I'm just grinning and bearing a little bit. Do you want, uh, you want the bee jacket? I can take the hood off of it. No, it ain't that bad. It's, this is normal. So yeah, it's no, not but it, me. it'll cover your arms up at least. I mean, we do have bad weather, so, yeah, and we're just getting into it, so potential for getting stung up. Is there, I know it's like every time we do this. I'm wondering if I should take the big knife and go on the outside here, all this nasty stuff that's all on the outer edge here, and see if I can get it to drop and get away from the good stuff, so when we go in there and get better vacuum on it. Probably wouldn't hurt. Okay. <laughs> Turn the vacuum on and started hitting them? Uh, they were hitting me before I turned the vacuum on. Hey, you did it like this. You turned it on, you did that. I took two right side by side. Yeah, they're hitting me pretty good up here, too. We might have to suit up. Take, Get the smoker going. Ah, yes. I love it. You got some. These things are spicy. <laughs> yeah, I, I told you we get a little crazy. Right here lined up with it, you turn on, I got a face full of that nasty jumping out of the Here's your water, and you're mounting this in the truck. Oh, thank you. If you're going to take the hit, I'll give you a gun for you. Bring in you the hits. Casey Kasem. So you don't want your knife? Yeah, I'm using this 5-in-1 to get all these wax mock chrysalis out of the way so I can, so I can work. No, nah, they're still stinging me in the hand. Uh, there's a couple side pieces, but I'm starting to get the new stuff. There's a lot of garbage in here. Switch turned on. Right there, right by that tree.
Yeah. Yeah, there's two old nests up in here. Not live, not right now. Yeah, so they're dead. You know, if they're once they're dead, they're dead. They won't come back to the dead nest. Yeah. If they, can, if they can find a way in, they'll... Yeah. <laughs> Spotty, but she's laying. She's in here somewhere if we find her. But I'd, I've done run them back and been sucking up big piles of the bees. So there ain't no telling. Oh yeah, I see it back there. No telling if I we'll see her. I can't really see anything back in there. But I'm just built onto and among that old nasty stuff. Dude. Hey Pete, y'all hey. find y'all find that snake? Yes, ma'am. We did. You identify it? Uh, not yet. No. Put, put it down in the comments. Is it still squirming? Uh, I left it with this gentleman, and they were, just, <laughs> they were discussing it differently than I was. Yeah, we were discussing it majorly differently. They were having a negotiation. <laughs> he took it behind the woodshed. I think they discussed it differently. <laughs> I'm, about, I'm about halfway through this hive. They were eating Pete alive. They, they were me to begin with. Had to get smoker going. We're at this point now. We've removed all this. Of course, uh, this fan part right here was just dead part of the hive. We got laying going on. We do have a active laying queen. It looks like it looks like they swarmed, and this is a newly mated queen just starting to lay. Because there's not a lot of larva that's uncapped in here, but there's eggs all through it. So I'm thinking that they swarmed and they've got a new queen in here somewhere. Still looking for her, but I've been backing giant clusters of bees from back in here. It's entirely possible that I'll get her in the back because I just can't see back in there. He was right here when I left. Because there he is, right there. Yeah. Oh, I can't film that. <laughs> you could do that, but I can't film it. Don't film. Don't film it. Then. You didn't film it, did you? Oh, yeah, but, now you got it. Yeah. Oh, he wants to strike. I ain't worried about you striking me, but it makes a good video. Hello. Go at me again. This makes good video. Get you a strike, come on. That's what I want. Into the camera, buddy. I was keeping a stick right outside the camera. <laughs> and that I got. Somebody else in a frame for sure. Oh yeah, no doubt. You gonna take all uh, right or not? <laughs> well, did you find any pine straw or did that snake make you forget what you went out there for? No, no, got some. I'm fixing to repack it right now. <laughs> <laughs> not yet, but she's sure laying. I'm just sitting, sitting on my little workbench. Thank you so much. Thank you, Randy. Yeah, anytime. We definitely have a laying queen, but in examining this, what I see is that they've recently swarmed and made a new queen. 
this one's mated and just recently started laying. So there's no honey in the hive. They've, the swarm took whatever they had. I've oh, got his old cap brood from their past queen and a whole bunch of new brood from this new queen. And I'm sure as I get in, I'll probably find open queen cells everywhere. There's one open cell and maybe a cup on the bottom. I'll probably find more of that as I go. A whole lot of bees though, man. I've been vacuuming bees. I've been sucking big clusters off the back here and they're still thick. Here we got the mass exodus running out from behind that comb. It means one of two things. The queen is out here or is going to be out here soon or we already got her in the back. And I think we already got her in the back because I've been sticking the vac hose back up in there. Just sucking giant clusters of bees in the back. And I think I've got her. So they, they're uh, turning into a runny bunch. swollen nobody will know <laughs> <laughs> won't be able to tell the difference so i just think you stopped for lunch and it's got one really working for this spot really well yeah it is i didn't want to bring it but i'm glad we did Allows you to sit down. And, that's pretty good. <laughs> I know. It would have been angle-wise, it would have been easier to work this off a ladder. But being able to sit down up here is a big plus. I'd rather work on a platform than a ladder. Yeah, me too. That's the next big one. Like this is a three in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Now I'm looking, nothing. Now the other question I ask, I don't know, you may want to ask yourself on the camera or tell them the camera, have you found any of the empty queen cells? Yeah, two. And you have found them, and they were empty? Yeah, I think they were. Fine cap, yep. It's small. No, those are cups, those are not even cells. They were making the queen. No, they have a queen. Okay. A bite and you doing that and it's probably help me. <laughs> you didn't want me around, just say so, man. Eh? I'm trying to smoke them off the comb when they're coming out front. That's all right, come on out front. I'll introduce you to your friends in the back. Yeah. <laughs> No, 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 where's the queen clip? Don't run away. I didn't want to lose sight of her. Got the queen, yes. I, I thought we had her in the back already. I didn't think I would see the queen on this one. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And where's Mr. Ed? I got it in my hand. I still oh, got, still got yeah, I still got the rubber band. I'm fixing, maybe he broke it off just quick. <laughs> I'm fixing to back these up and then set the queen back up there. 
That's what it was. The beam was going back and forth. Probably, yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. Ah, oh, yes. yes. That's what I'm talking about. Ah. Oh, man. That's so Mike nice. Mike Green, Mike Green. There she is. <laughs> when they started running, I knew either we had her or she was moving. I, I thought we had her. I thought she was in the vac already. 2020 Queen laying it up. They all ran out of front, though. I'm fixing to vacuum all these up, and I'm going to set her up there. Uh, well, I say they all. There's still a bunch in the, in the combs. But the ones that were clustering behind the combs... Bunch of them vacated and came out front. Just look at that layer of wax moth um, defecation. <laughs> Looks like the bottom of a bat cave. That was from the old hives that were in here. Wax moths ate, ate a lot of it up. Uh, there was comb here. We scraped that out, but there was an old hive and the wax moss just decimated it. And these ladies were building back onto it and cleaning it up and reusing some of the wax that was still there. Another drone. Fixing to pick these up. A little more population reduction. And my shoulders, uh, because of the way I'm sitting and twisting sideways, working backwards over my head, my, my right trap is on fire. So I'm gonna back these up and let Pete get up here and finish the rest of this because he fits a little nicer. <laughs> Hey, give me a second. Yeah, give me a second. We're switching guards. You got the queen? Yeah, he's got the queen right now. I got the queen right here. Okay. I'm going to vac these up and then we're going to put her back up in here. Uh, you know, we don't really need her up here, do we? No, I have her now. We'll put her. I don't want to lay her in that roach crap. Six twenty eight Dirt Roosters, the YouTube channel name. Okay. We're out here picking out some pretty combs to go sh to go show the homeowner because they're uh, elderly and it's gonna be hard to get them out of the house. They won't come down here and see. So, so, what's your name again? Judy. So Judy's gonna take a couple pieces to show her mom. I am. And this this and house has been here. Good. This is it. Call the Dirt Roosters. <laughs> <laughs> That's that piece of that 10 year old hive. There's just enough honey in there for them to get a taste on the top edges. That's mostly brood, but she's just taking it up to show them. But uh, you know, I already tasted it. That stuff was really good. We got three bags of old brood comb here. So Miss Judy's going up to show her mom. I'm going up. And I think her dad might be coming down. We're going to try. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Randy. Yes, ma'am. We're in a real beautiful place. It's hard to show because uh, of the way the house is situated on the property. I just backed up out of this gate so they can get the mule through. Miss, Miss Judy's dad wants to come down. They got to bring him down in a, uh, I think an electric lift and they're going to ride him around on the mule to get around here. Probably difficult access for him to walk up. Not sure how they're bringing him in, but I was just getting my truck out of the way so they could bring the mule around. So right here is where they're going in. Looks like maybe a couple dozen clustered up right there. And this is a dreamland, and here's a workshop to hold down the whole uh, bottom floor of the house. I 
Okay, so we know what happened with the last bees that was in here, that old comb. So got a big hole right here and yeah. swarmed out of it. They swarmed out of it and Pete figured out what they did when they came out. They took a wrong turn. They <laughs> <laughs> took a wrong turn. You can see the sheetrock, there's nothing left in that corner where they were. They had actually chewed through an access in the sheetrock. And, you know, like you said, they just took a wrong turn. Instead of going out their main entrance to swarm, they came inside. And with these doors closed, because those doors are not open typically, with these doors closed, that window over there was the only light. So that's where they went. And sucks for them. I think I already showed this. We'll come back over here and look one more time. Papa's about too old to get around anymore. And must have been in the airplane that a cool model he was building. He's a little too old to get down here, but he wanted to come see what we were doing, so they brought him down in the gator. Kept him in on his walker. So fixing me. Move the truck back down. We're just about done. There's not a whole lot left other than making sure I don't walk off and leave cameras laying around. Square button. There's an inch and a half deep layer of wax moth. 
crap up here on top of this bottom board, on top of this uh, top plate. <laughs> yeah, I think. Over here, so it's just cut a piece off. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's bad anyway. But that you're gonna have way more work room than what you need. There's no heat showing in the wall here. Just right there, huh? Just in the ceiling, and, and it radiates into the wall just barely.